the van is finally taking shape and coming to life. Knowing my luck, I'll probably end up with no fingers. Today, I'm sorry if you come to watch me almost chop my fingers off. Today's video isn't going to be like that because I've decided to call the professionals in as we're going to be installing four deadlocks to make sure this van is a little bit more secure. So in about 10 minutes, I've got a guy called Dean coming over who's got his own van security company called Secure It. And as I said, we are going to be installing four deadlocks on the side of the van, one for the sliding door, two for the doors on the front where the cab area is and one for the rear door. I just want to make the point that yes, fitting deadlocks, that's not going to stop people breaking in, but any security device that you add to your van that thieves or robbers can actually physically see is going to be a deterrent to stop them at least trying to break in. If you haven't seen any of the other videos in my van build series, then as you can see, I'm in the middle of a van conversion. The latest job that I've done recently is get the cladding on, which was a massive job because it just makes the appearance of the van look so much different and makes it actually feel like some progression is being made. I know there's probably a lot of people thinking, Will, if people want to break in, then they'll just smash your windows. You're absolutely right, they are. But I'm going to copy Lou from Camper Vibe. We have windows on our house. Even when we leave our house, we lock our front door. And it's exactly the same with adding deadlocks to my van. Yes, people can still break in from the windows, but as I've already said, Adding the locks is just going to be a way of putting the thieves off. We're going to make a start on the rear doors and fit the first deadlock, but he just made a valid point to me. Apparently there's a lot of people or thieves and robbers and all that stuff on YouTube that will watch security videos like this and then they'll obviously learn how to break in. So I'll show you how the deadlocks work and all that stuff but I won't go into the specific details because obviously I don't want somebody watching this video and then being able to easily break into my van. Okay. So you've got to position them in set places and all that. Yeah, yeah. but what we do is alter the positions for higher security. Why does it make a difference though in terms of where you actually put it? Because yeah, if you have like a lower position, yeah, easier to get into sometimes, yeah. higher positions, just gives him more support. The good thing is because you've got to catch the top of your door yeah. as well, these are more secure because some doors don't have to catch. Oh, really? So that means you can grab it and just peel the door. Oh, okay. Because your latch is in, it's not as easy to peel the yeah. skin. But how would people break into this back door anyway? What, they just put some sort of um, thing most that they try of them, open? Most of them will try to put at the top, they don't, if they don't realise how to catch, yeah. like airbag at the top, pump it so it comes out enough, hands, yeah. knee, bend, yeah. fold it, fold and then drop in or just Prime. buy it, yeah. yeah. But because you're going to put the hook lock on, it doesn't just fire into the door, yeah. you're going to fire over, so it latches down as well. Okay. So it's going to be more secure against the, the crowbar and all the bits and pieces like that, Yeah. or whatever they can try, try and do. Because my van's got latches on the top, it makes it harder to pry off from the top. So if somebody does try and break in, it's going to be a bit of a pain in the arse already. So I suppose, Having the van with those is already one kind of defense against somebody trying to break in. But then the deadlocks should add an extra layer. Here we go, he said he's got a spare pair. <laughs> now I feel like I'm doing something. <laughs> Is it like hammer, right? Is it? It's body paint. Oh, what? Just to protect the metal? Yeah, just yeah. to do it. Some protection. And then what we'll do after? Paint it, then wax it. Yeah. Why wax it? Just to make it smooth? Rust. Ah, uh, rust, okay. Rust protection. Yeah. lovely and tidy okay so we've just fitted the the hook deadlock on the back door and then on the other side 
we're just going to fit the bracket which obviously hooks into which keeps it all in place and makes it nice and secure how long was that half an hour 45 minutes yeah, yeah there or thereabouts half an hour to 45 minutes to do one side and then we'll see how long the other side takes to do Like a glove. He was just opening the door back and forth, kept shutting and closing it, and I was just questioning why he was doing that. I thought he cocked up, to be honest. <laughs> but um, now nah, he said he's checking it because obviously sometimes you can close these doors with a little bit of pressure, sometimes you slam them shut. So basically, just checking it thoroughly to make sure that the lock actually goes into the bracket because there's many times where I thought I've closed these back doors and actually they're not closed and then I've got to get out the van and shut them properly and give them a good slam. This is what the bracket looks like on the other side. There's a lot of rivets in that to hold that in place, but that obviously the more you put in, the stronger it is to stop people prying the door open. We're gonna crack on, or I say we're gonna crack on. Dean's gonna crack on and fit now the sliding door and then the two front ones. I won't film the entire process of that because as always, it's just a repeat of what we've done here but I'll show you it afterwards and how they all work. And then, uh, yeah, we'll catch up when that's all done. I'll get the absolute piss taken out of me for not rust treating the windows. <laughs> you know, tomorrow's gonna be stripping them out. <laughs> Yeah, but what would actually happen to it? The rust. Yeah, but how long will it take to rust? It depends. Like two weeks. Two weeks? I've had it longer than two weeks. No, they normally, you might get, you'll get like surface. Yeah. But then to get... Yeah, but I, I can't take the windows out now. Well, actually I could. Is that a, is that a bonded glass? Yeah. Oh, it is. Oh, well. That'll be all right, won't it? Yeah, it should be. <laughs> Don't say nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I might have to take the windows out then and put some hammer up. It'd, it'd be it'd be better, yeah. but you know for, your, for yourself. Oh god. Oh. Might have to strip the windows out. Right, make yourself useful. I'll see what you guys think in the comments if you think it's worth stripping the windows out and putting some sort of rust treatment on the inside of the metal because I knew as soon as I installed them that, that was a job I should have done. Right, all four deadlocks are installed. We're just gonna do a a lap around the van to make sure they all work and everything is all looking good. And look, who comes out, in, the door, turn the key, straight out, done. Oh, no movement. Lock way around, so door, lock it, key out, movement, good. Solid as a rock. In, done, hook again, door closed, done. See you later, mate. Cheers. Thank you. See ya. The amount of keys I'm starting to carry around is just getting bigger and bigger and bigger. All the deadlocks are fitted. They're all working exactly how they should be. And I'm feeling very, very happy. I want to reiterate the point that I said in this video a few times, it won't stop people breaking in, but all it does is a deterrent and it's a way of slowing somebody down if they do try and break in. Dean mentioned the point to me many times that there's nothing that you can really do to the van to stop people breaking in because if they want to get in, they will. They'll either smash the window, they'll either cut a hole in the roof, or they'll just force their way in over time and with the right tools. Any security devices like these deadlocks, like security cameras, or literally anything else, as I said, is purely just a way to slow people down and put them off. It's definitely a job that I couldn't have done myself because there's a lot of lining up and getting things square and it would have taken absolutely ages. We had a chat at the end and I'm gonna put a link to their website and all of their contact details for any of you guys that want to get van deadlocks or any security devices fitted to your vehicle to give them a ring, contact them and they'll sort you out. If you call them up and mention that you've seen my video or you quote, will secure it, then they'll sort you out with a good deal, whether it's for deadlocks or any other devices. This was a job that I've been wanting to get done for ages, especially before I started to clad the doors and everything because everything's still very accessible at the moment but thankfully the deadlocks are on and now i'm feeling a little bit more safe and secure that when i eventually finish this van off which will probably be about 10 years i've got less risk of somebody trying to break in what 
When the hell did that go down? A quick bit of story time for you. So about three weeks ago, I went to an event called the Adventure Overland Show, which is basically a massive, massive van event with hundreds and hundreds of people there showing off their self-converted vans, their bespoke deluxe motorhomes, and everything in between. It was a great chance and opportunity for me to meet many of you guys that watch the video. So a massive, massive thank you to anybody that I met at that event. It was so much fun to chat with people, to invite people into the van, and just a general great laugh and an awesome weekend. All right, guys. <laughs> <laughs> it's Alan. 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 Cheers. Cheers, biggers. Anyway, at that event, I was a bit sneaky because I thought to myself, there's going to be people at this event that are going to be able to help me install my flooring. So, very cheekily, I took my vinyl floor with me and got some help installing it. When I say I got some help doing it, I mean to say the absolute massive legend, Neil from the Urban Van Life, installed and laid my vinyl roll in about an hour. With the help of Lou from Camper Vibe, who was also there, peeling off bits and bobs from the floor just to make it nice and clean, and everybody else in between chucking in advice and tips on how to do it. So, this is what my vinyl floor currently looks like. It's in, it's in place, it's been cut around the edges, but it's not stuck down. So today I'm going to be finishing this off. When I say it's not stuck down, it's literally not stuck down at all. I just haven't had the opportunity to come down and finish it off yet. So today we're going to be using some trim fix to get it glued down to the ply underneath. And then I've also got some edging strips, which I'm going to cut and screw onto the ply to cover the edges to make it nice and neat. Let's get this floor stuck down and get it finished today. I'm going to be using this glue here to stick it down with. It's called trim fix adhesive. The reason I'm going for this one is because it's heat resistant. It says here on the can that it's temperature stable up to 120 degrees, which means it's going to be good in summer conditions when the van gets really hot, that this isn't going to melt away and leave a disgusting residue. It also says on here that it's for vehicle interior trims, headlinings and carpets, fabric and leather seats. So it must be good stuff. Oh, I'm going to get glue everywhere, aren't I? Oh god. Oh shit. Oh shit. this stuff is sticky. stuck down some tips for you because after all that's what these videos are all about i used one and a half cans of the trim fix spray so probably grab two cans just in case if you're going to be doing a very similar job to mine this is a medium wheelbase van so if you've got a long wheelbase or an extra long wheelbase you'll obviously need more cans of spray also another tip some people don't actually even bother sticking down the vinyl to their main floor because to be honest, it's not 100% necessary because I'm going to be screwing things on top of this, which is going to keep it in place anyway. But I just figured I might as well stick it down and do a proper job. But some people do, some people don't. The next job is going to be to cover up these side edges and also for the back, just to obviously make it neat, tidy and give this a nice finish. Okay, so this is the stuff I'm going to use on the edges. It's just, I believe, some, is it aluminium? I'm assuming it's aluminium. I bought it from Wix anyway, ages ago. Bloody expensive, this stuff. It was like 15 pounds a piece. It's got a right angle edge on it. So that's obviously gonna sit over the edge of here. And then I'll fix a few screws through this into the ply. 130. I've 
used this once before when I fixed the leak in my roof. What's this actually for? Hold on. Universal fit. Oh, shit, it tits. I changed my mind. It's probably stupid to use. I forgot what the hell this is called. A grinder. Just to cut this because knowing my luck, I'll probably end up with no fingers. I'm just going to play it safe and get a hacksaw, I think. I drilled through the table. Bloody beautiful, my friends. That is it. The floor is in, finished, complete. And if I do say so myself, the van is finally taking shape and coming to life. Sealing up, flooring in, security devices added to the van. As I always say, we're getting there slowly, slowly, one step at a time. I gotta say a big, big thank you to all of you guys that are watching these van build videos. Thank you for your patience because yeah, it's not easy sometimes to have the motivation and desire to work on this especially alone it can be a bit boring and especially filming the bloody thing everything honestly takes a thousand times longer and when i'm filming my motivation is a lot lower than when i'm just playing some tunes and i'm just cracking on doing the van build filming it is kind of taking a bit of fun out of it but obviously i need to do that and i want to show you guys the process of what it's like to actually do a van build with really pretty much no experience in any tool works tool works not even a word but carpentry electrics and all that you know what i'm trying to say the next van build video i'm going to be installing a very useful and handy piece of equipment which i actually had in my old ford galaxy and i'm looking forward to getting that in because it's going to just make the van feel so much bigger i hope you enjoyed today's video if you did make sure to give the video a like make sure to subscribe if you're new to the channel and if you want any deadlock or security fitted to your van make sure you go and check out dean's security company i'll leave all of the information to his company in the description as always guys thank you so much for watching and i will catch you in the next video.